Let's talk about independence versus uncorrelation in this video. Many classmates feel confused about these two concepts. Simply speaking, independence is about the, the relationship of probability between two events. Uncorrelation is about the relationship of values of two data sets. Let's talk about the independence first. Suppose we have two events, event A and B. If the two events are dependent, when we calculate the probability that both A and B happen together, we have to use equation 1. We need to consider something called a conditional probability, PB given A. That means the probability of B given A happens. This means the two events are dependent. If the two events are independent, we use equation 2 to calculate the probability that both A and B happen. We simply use the probability that A happens to multiply the probability that B happens. We don't need to consider the conditional probability if the two events are independent. This is the mathematical equations to calculate independence. What about the, the practical example? Can you give me a practical example? I think uh, having a baby boy or a baby girl is a very good example of independent events. Is the probability of having a boy or a girl next time dependent on the probability of having a boy or girl this time? No, the two events are completely independent. It doesn't matter what the couple have this time. The probability of having a boy or a girl next time is always 50%. So if someone asks you, what is the probability that a couple have a girl first time and then they have a boy next time? We should use equation 2 on this slide to calculate the answer. Simply use 0.5 times 0.5. The probability should be 25%. This is how you calculate independence. We use different equations to calculate the correlation or uncorrelation between two data sets. We use the Greek letter rho to represent the correlation coefficient. Rho can be any value between negative 1 and 1. Rho simply shows if data set y will change positively or negatively if data set x changes. It does not measure the probability that data set X and data set Y will happen together or not. Pay attention to this difference. This shows the difference between independence versus uncorrelation. Rho doesn't measure the probability at all. If the rho value is less than zero, that means data set Y will increase if data set X decreases and vice versa. If rho is greater than zero, that means y will increase if x increases and vice versa. If rho equals to zero, the two data sets are uncorrelated. That means no matter how x changes, y will not change. But pay attention to the point. Rho does not measure the probability of two events at all. We just talked about having boys or girls are two independent events. But what about the correlation between the number of girls and the number of boys a couple can have? In order to answer this question, I collected the data from 10 couples. They reported the number of boys and girls they have, as you can see in this spreadsheet. I will list the data set down below. You can download onto your computer. In Excel, I use the CoreReal function to calculate the correlation coefficient. Eventually, I get negative 0.42. This number doesn't show the probability of having a boy or a girl. This number simply shows whether the number of girls will increase or decrease if the number of boys changes. Of course, when you collect data from different couples, the correlation coefficient will change. 
This shows a minor difference between independence and uncorrelation. We usually calculate the independence analytically. The independence probability will not change no matter which data set you collect. But the, the correlation coefficient will change if you collect data among different samples.